Good morning, Crossroads South. Happy Monday. It is Monday, March 28th. It is an A day, and you know what? The weather out there, it's typical March. I heard that on Thursday, it's supposed to be like 75 degrees, sunny, probably some shorts weather, and here we are today in frigid 20 degree weather, and yesterday there was a snow squall. So you never know what March is going to bring. Um, a couple of things, I just wanna thank Mr. Bohm for an awesome HAP event on Friday. Um, it was awesome hearing from Dr. Dishbande, who is a former Crossroads South student. Um, she was awesome and very inspirational in her message. It's so cool. Maybe one day you guys will come back as a mystery guest and share all of your awesome successes with us. Um, and congratulations. I do not know who the tower winner is as of right now, but the towers were pretty good. I have to say the library crew, that tower was pretty high. Um, and then I felt bad for some of the classes when we walked in and your towers just sort of like whoosh went um, with the wind. So um, hopefully you had a good weekend. This week kicks off our last week in March. We are then headed into April. Yes, folks, Friday is April 1st. April is Autism and Disabilities Acceptance Month. And on Friday, we're gonna tell you now that we want you to wear blue. We're gonna wear blue every Friday in April um, in support of Autism and Disabilities Acceptance Month. Um, our team here has also put together a spirit week. So if you head on over to the VPO, you will see that next week we have a whole week of spirit. Um, I'll start to remind you as we get on through this week, but uh, you could check it out now. And we will also bring back our famous honest questions, honest answers. Sometimes when you, um, you know, you think about this month, you have some questions because you just don't know. So we give you the opportunity to ask some questions and we will select through those questions and give you some honest answers about autism and disabilities. All right. So um, that's some great stuff to look forward to. I also wanted to uh, update you on our replenish food drive. Now, let me tell you, this is the last week. So folks, I had said, I hope we could cut quadruple our number. Well, the first time we had our number, it was like 100 items as a whole school. Then when I said quadruple, we were at 300. So we didn't quadruple, but we did triple because we are over 900 items as of this morning. Now, that does not take into account all the things that you brought in this morning. So um, there's an upset in who the winners are right now or who's in the leaderboard. So in eighth grade, our leaders are Omega. That is awesome. Um, in seventh grade, we have a leader of Delta, which is good. You came back from zero Delta. Um, and then in sixth grade, we have our leaders, Apollo. The Apollo unit is in the lead with 279 items as of Friday. I have to tell you that overall sixth grade, you are doing an amazing job. I really feel like our sixth graders have the most spirit this year. Um, sixth grade, you have collected over 725 items as of last week. So let's see. Total, we have 984 items for our school. I'm taking a look at the leaderboard there. And let's see what we can do this week. I mean, it would be amazing if we could send out just like 2,000 items. I'm really thinking if we got a thousand, just under a thousand in the first week, now that our spirit is up and we're in the mood of giving, we could probably come up with another thousand items this week, each one individually. Remember, we're looking for canned meats, macaroni and cheese, vegetables, dry beans, fruit, stew, all canned, no glass, pasta, cereal, rice, granola bars, diapers and wipes, soap and shampoo, and toothpaste. All right. So, um, We'll take anything, but definitely see if you can bring those items in. And thank you for everybody who donated. I know it's a lot. And um, we just want to thank you for being so caring and so giving. I also want to give one more shout out to the Beta Unit for their Beta Bake Sale. They gave over $450 to the Ukraine um, and the efforts there. So that is wonderful as well. What a giving community we have. That concludes... Oh. Today is Mistake Monday. Before I forget, I, that's a mistake. Um, you know, I don't have any famous mistakes. I just want to share something about myself. So I had made a mistake and I was so embarrassed about it. And this happened on the weekend and I made this mistake and I sent something off and it was completely wrong in an email and I was definitely embarrassed. And I thought to myself like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And you know what? I just realized like, mistakes as I say are going to happen and we're gonna get stuck there's times where you're learning and you're doing things and you get stuck or you make a mistake 
And the best thing to remember is it's how you handle yourself afterwards. So I could have like twisted the truth. I could have said like, oh, here's this excuse as to why. But I just said, you know what? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I'm completely embarrassed. And everybody was like, not a big deal. It's totally fine. Um, so just remember, like mistakes are going to happen and you're just going to keep on moving. But it's how you handle yourself in the moment. And, you know, as you're learning, if you get stuck, every good learner gets stuck at some point. But how do you get unstuck? That's the question. All right, folks, that concludes our message for today. Please stand for the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Have a great day, Crossroads.